The Ministry of Health and Wellness today officially launched its COVID-19 vaccination rollout program with the vaccination of three healthcare professionals. They are Dr. Marcelo Coya, public health specialist, who is a member of the National Immunization Technical Group, Casilda Brown, a nurse who currently heads the COVID-19 unit at the KHMH, and Dr. Eric Bradley, a physician specialist and leader at the KHMH COVID-19 unit. They were vaccinated with the AstraZeneca vaccine that the government of Barbados donated to Belize. That with the, thousand, the first thousand doses we receive from Barbados, we will be able to vaccinate 1,000 of our frontline healthcare workers with their first dose. And when we receive our first allocation from COVAX, we will be able to administer the second dose to these 100,000, to these 1,000, sorry, frontline healthcare workers. Health and Wellness Minister Michelle Shabbat says that this is an important step to win the war against the COVID-19 virus. The ministry's aim is to achieve herd immunity through vaccination. But it will also allow us to fully reopen our economy in the shortest possible time. Our COVID-19 vaccine rollout plan has been prepared. However, please bear in mind that this plan is a dynamic one and it can easily be modified according to any unforeseen changes in the arrival dates of the vaccines. The ministry has created a distribution process and on top of the list are healthcare workers, persons 60 years and older, and persons with special conditions. Phase 2 includes teachers, police officers, members of the National Assembly and Judiciary, custom and immigration, and frontline workers in the tourism sector. I want to make clear that with the arrival of the 100,800 vaccines, we will be able to vaccinate more persons in the different phases at an earlier time. And so again, this is just to give us a, a plan as to how we are going to be rolling out the vaccines. Phase 3 includes the Belize Defense Force, Coast Guard, Fire Services, persons with comorbidities, Red Cross and utility workers. Phase 4 includes all public servant workers and transportation. Everyone else 18 years and older are in Phase 5. But will you take the vaccine? It will not be made mandatory and it is the responsibility of the Coordinated Committee to disseminate relevant information to convince Belizeans to get vaccinated. Chair of the committee is Bishop Reverend Philip Wright. The hope is that if we can do this well, we can be a key part of the campaign to ensure that as many as possible Belizeans receive the vaccine, the vaccine and thereby enable us as a nation to reach a level where we have the, the kind of immunity that the experts have expressed is necessary for us to move forward. The goal is to reduce the overall mortality rate due to COVID-19. The target population are those 18 years or older, or 242,907 persons in Belize who are eligible for the vaccine. The aim is to vaccinate 95% of that number. And if you do say yes to the vaccine, you will go through a process as explained by Dr. Natalia Baer. The person that is expecting to receive the vaccine that day will be greeted at the entrance by a person that will be checking temperature, ensuring that everyone wears their face mask properly, ensuring that all persons keep physical distance at all times, and also at the entry, there will be some screening questions just to ensure that persons are eligible for the vaccine. After that um, first uh, contact, at the vaccination site, then they would move on to register the persons who will be receiving the vaccine that day. It will be an appointment system and we could invite uh, 100 and maybe just 89 reach that day. Well, then we need to document those 89 that reach. So for that, you will need to carry an ID and um, provide basic information that will, will be required, the date of birth, your current address and your current phone number. After that um, registration of persons receiving the vaccine that day, then the person would pass to the vaccinator. The vaccinator will administer the vaccine and will provide them with the vaccination card. After that, the person after receiving the vaccine would then move to an observation area where they will wait for 15 minutes 
before leaving the premises after receiving the vaccine. And to ensure that the vaccination rollout doesn't suffer any hiccups, the National Immunization Technical Group was established as an independent advisory board. The group has been working since mid-December and is chaired by Lydia Thurton. The key message from NITAG is that vaccines are safe. To date, over 241 million doses of COVID vaccines have been administered across 103 countries. So we have looked at criteria for vaccines to ensure that what we recommend are vaccines that have been proven to be safe. Prime Minister John Brisenio agrees. He says that it is of paramount importance for Belizeans to accept the vaccine. It is very important for all Belizeans to make sure that they get vaccinated when their time comes, when their turn um, comes. Um, as Prime Minister, when my turn comes, I will get vaccinated, but I prefer others to go before me. I encourage everybody, encourage your family, encourage your friends, especially our elderly, to take the, this, um, this vaccine. It is for their own good, for their own protection. We need to get Belize working once again. You know, we've been learning how to, to, to live with COVID-19, but until we can get to what you call the herd immunity, we can then move, be able to move more freely and to be able to get the economy going. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.